Okay, we are back in Octopath Traveler 2. So I went into the little cavern here, but the capture card crapped out, so I lost what I had. It was only a minute in, so there wasn't really much to retrieve, but... Uh, go ahead and grab the Clock Tower Technician. I forgot what the dude's name title is. Let me do this. Clock Tower Technician. He's located, just go up the stairs, make a right. I think it's up these stairs. I have Temnos guiding him, and we need to go up these stairs instead. If you look right there and make a right, it'll take you over to him. So have him follow, then come over here. We have to access it by the water. But we have a dungeon here. Tangela level 44, Particio is level 44, everyone else is above that, so we're like right on the mark. It's gonna make the difference between us now and Agnia 1, uh, 3 or 4, I think it's 4 much bigger. This is an Inferno Amulet, so greatly reduces fire damage because the thing at the top is supposed to be a phoenix. So you can protect yourself from fire if you want to try to minimize some of the damage. So the very first fight I had here was worth like 800 EXP, that was worth 550. The second fight I had was like similar to this one, so it's not like that much a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a save here because I don't want to have to collect everything off these guys. That fight had banded bones in it and it was worth a whopping 900 EXP. Seraphim Spear. Says Ember, do we? And I don't have anyone else on my team here who can use spears. That fight was worth a little bit less than 800. So after running into those, we'll grab the spear, let's save, and let's go up and beat the Phoenix. Scan him just find the other weakness. My turn. So let's do the armor crows of here. You're open. To work. Be here. My prey awaits. I think there's a case to be made for using Kratos <laughs> like here. Stop right there. 
I'm just getting warmed up. Now, someone here could die, either Throne or Particio, if the bird attacks them with both turns. So what I will do is I will put my Remnant to use. This is one of the better monsters you can summon. Ah, it's going to chip away at my HP every turn. Like, I could break the bird again. Stop this. Uh oh. So I don't know what that debuff I got on it right there was, but it was something that you just roll with the bow. Be healed. You're too kind, Tamanos. <clears throat> what to do? You're open. Bring it on. Yeah. Oh dear. Be in trouble depending on what it does with the double turn. Holy Lord, eliminate the darkness. Right. Come on, defending. Yeah. Hopefully, you can see with the triple shot of Defendi's bow. That's why I'm not really in any rush to put the over limit thing on her, where you can go over 9,000 her 99 damage. That's purely the reasoning why I haven't done that already. Don't under and I'm just gonna burn this for the extra damage. Arrow of force. <laughs> this is ideal. Oh no, he went after the My guy turn. who could take it best. Stop this. To work. Bring it on. Much appreciated. <laughs> Nothing to it, I'm afraid. Here goes. Do I want to break it yet? My turn. You're open. To work. There's a chance I could accidentally do it here. I'm afraid. 
Bravo, Brone. I won't back down. So yeah, I'll fire the light spell off. I'm just gonna heal next turn. Holy if there is a next turn. Bring it on. For him, I'm better off cutting loose next turn because I'll get the extra point. Just to make sure, because yeah, I collected and I laughed and that was so bad. I was hoping for something better, <laughs> as you rally tell from my disappointment. Well. But I will hope back. Ah, so we will burn up here. Watch me. You're open. What? But I will not beat this. Here This could be the death blow. That's my quarter! Only eight thousand. Roughly, well, it's almost Bring nine. It on. That way. So right there, he got the uh, elemental attack down. Now it has three turns. You can see that just bounced off us My because turn. of the debuff. Let's hop over to bow. There. Let's go. To work. Be healed. <laughs> Ready? But yeah, this thing was never really any threat to us, it seems. Stop this. Where were you? <laughs> Okay, that was a lot weaker than I expected it to be. Don't underestimate me. Yeehaw! Let's do it! Arrow of fortune! <coughs> Penny hit now should be the death blow. Ready? <laughs> So yeah, that was just a beefy sucker. We get a gale feather from that. I see now. It was a monster that snuck in and broke the bell. But the damage doesn't look too bad. This'll be a quick fix. Give me a minute, would you?
I assume it's a quick fix because there's five of us helping him, but you never know. That should do it. Now it ought to be ringing well, like clockwork. Can't thank you enough. I'm sure the townsfolk could be happy to hear her chime, too. So we get an invigorating nut and just a meager 10,000 leaves. Well, it's helpful for Temenos, I guess. As for the Gale Feather, wow. So that's a lot of evasion. But anyway, that is the Clock Tower quest, so... I'm gonna hop out of there into Clock Bank, save and everything, and next time we will get off to the next story chapter. I don't know if we'll ever get the chance to have another dungeon where we're actually close to the proper level for, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.